hi guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well and having a good day wherever you are um today i'm coming at you with a spring kind of slash summer vibes kind of um haul so we have some two dollar tuesdays from sadie stickers let's do apollo the pretty pink co um some washi tape some kits some like journaling kits um and yeah, that's basically it. So if you're interested in seeing any of this, then please stick around. Okay, I'm going to start with Letters to Apollo. Um, I have a few different orders here. Um, I have some kits, some deco, um, foil deco, and also some icons. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the icons. Um, she, I don't, I can't remember if they're a permanent thing in the shop now. Um, but I absolutely love her icons. Also, I forgot to say, um, I am on the PR team, so you can put Saskia 10 um, to save Demson percent off and also mention me for my freebie. Our freebies have just been updated. I don't have my new one on hand. Um, no. So when I get that in, I'll definitely show you. Um, but also head over to my Instagram. And I've saved it to my PR highlights, and it's also on Jessica's Instagram page as well. So first off, I have this book icon let me zoom you in a bit hey guys this is in gold on white paper rose gold i love reading so these are perfect silver then i have these mini clouds uh, in gold rose gold and silver these are on transparent matte paper transparent matte just makes the um foil shine better without the glare of the clear paper then i got frame number two in all three on premium matte white paper and then frame one in all three so i don't know if you can see but this one's a bit like shorter and fatter so this one is kind of just your traditional arch with the like a sunbeam on it but this one kind of goes into like a rectangle and then goes up like that so that was that order um then i have some more two dollar hollers and this was the butterfly themed release i also have a lot of um butterfly themed things from Alicia at Sadie Stickers, but I loved how also Jessica did hers. Some were quite different to Alicia's, so I had to pick them up. So I got the short straight dangle in all three foils. So here's rose gold, gold, and silver again in transparent matte paper. And I got the large cluster in all three as well. The mini cluster I just like how these are like um, you can kind of see the detail in the butterflies I don't know if it's focusing on that or focusing on my finger um, or I say stickers ones are filled in so I liked having the variety um, and then we have the mini divider So if you can hear in the background, Adam's watching America football. <laughs> um, and then the frame four. I thought these are really cute. Really pretty. So that was those $2 hollers. Um, then we had the Love and War collection for uh, the new series of Bridgerton coming out. Uh, so I got the traditional vertical kit and then also the Hobonichi cousin kit and some florals. So let's go through the main kit first. So this is in silver foil. Absolutely gorgeous. I love these kind of like pastel colours with the silver foil. So here you have like your Lady Whistle Down box. I guess it's supposed to be Daphne. If you've seen Bridgerton season two, let me know what you think. I think I actually preferred it to the first season. Um, I just loved Kate and Anthony. I felt 
the chemistry a lot more. Obviously, there was passion in the first season, but I felt it a lot more in this season. Um, and yeah, I just, I loved it. And the whole, um, the scene where he says, was it, you are my greatest, oh, you're the bane of my existence, but the object of all my desires kills me every time. I love it. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to mark watching that with this kit. So I'm a bit behind, so I will need to redo, um, go back and do this week. But so cute. Then we have your date covers, which are actually cut out to the shape of the box. Um, your like sidebar stackables, some checklists, some doilies. Uh, the format has changed since this but here you have those in my last haul I showed those like shapes those are a bit like when you go rock climbing <laughs> um, and then you have some like hexagons flags circles there and then these really cute boxes I love this one the bow and, and the like bridge scene then we have your boxes page And you get a different variety, some like fancy boxes at the top. Look at the bee here. If you've watched, you know the resemblance and the like symbol, is it symbolism? Symbolization, symbolism of the bee. Um, and then you have your bottom washi and headers and then some script headers as well. So that was the um, weekly kit. Then we have the Hobonichi Cousin Kit and some florals. I'm thinking now maybe I should have picked up another sheet of florals. <laughs> um, I think I meant to pick this up on Premium Map, but I accidentally got it in Transparent Map, which doesn't really matter. How cute. Then this is the Hobonichi Cousin or A5 kit. So your first page, you have some boxes, some like functional boxes, some like swatches, florals, date covers, checklists, uh, sidebar things like habit trackers. I would use this in an A5 Hobonichi cousin, but I presume it would work for any kind of planner like that. And then I love this with the washi strips and then the big pieces of deco. This massive fan, so nice. So that was the Hobonichi cousin kit, and that was the Love and War collection. Okay, now I have some Eastery things. Um, so I have an Easter kit and some uh, like deco. I already had I accidentally bought a third Easter kit I usually do I've said in my last um, video I usually do two kits for Easter for the two weeks of Easter holiday that we have because um, I'm a teacher so but I accidentally have three so I might save this one for next year I'm not sure yet I haven't um, put the bases down for those spreads yet but I might save this for next year we'll see um, but I'll go through the deco first so first off I got these egg dangles I remember having these from um, Sadie stickers last year and loving them um, and then I liked that these were slightly different I also the annoying thing is the I did get a an Easter kit from Sadie stickers for one of my Easter weeks and I got it in silver foil and then the other one I think I got in rose gold from or was it gold from um, Hello Petite Paper and then I realized I'd ordered most of my Easter deco in just rose and gold and not silver um luckily I had for you'll see for Sadie stickers I did do all three but everything else did rose and gold so I think I'm going to do a mixed metal spread for that maybe silver and gold um but yeah <laughs> we'll see but yeah so this is the egg dangle in rose gold and gold the floral bunny in rose gold and gold I think these are just so cute then we have the bunny cluster. So sweet. Mini egg and bunny dangle. A duo dangle mini. And this has um, bows and Easter eggs in it as well as the bunny. Then the divider bunny. I love these like dotted dividers at the moment with like the deco sprinkled in. Duo Dangos, this is a bigger version of the mini one, obviously as the name suggests. <laughs> then the Simple Bunny, so cute. Look at these. And I mean, you could use these for anything, any like kits in spring, they don't have to just be for um, Easter. 
divide a 5, and then I also picked up the lace midi one box in all three. So that was the two dollar hollers and then I also picked up um, these two floral sheets for the Easter kit which I will show you next. Okay so this is the Easter kit, it's in rose gold foil. So pretty, look at that little bunny rabbit with his whiskers. So cute. I love the florals in this kit as well. So it's the same format, uh, no it's not, it's a slightly different format to the uh, Bridgerton one. So this page is the same, this page is slightly different. So you still have your um, like cut out date covers and your sidebar stackables and checklists, but then here underneath the doilies where the like uh, rock climbing shapes and that were, um, that you have some cool boxes. I think these are very similar to, I know they are slightly different to this box but they're similar um, and then you still get your like notched and like fancy box down here this page is pretty much the same and then this page is the same so that was Easter from Letter to Apollo and that finishes um that concludes my orders from Les to Apollo. Please go check her out. Love Jessica and I love her shop. Um don't forget you can use Saskia 10 to save and we've just redone our freebies so definitely go check them out on her Instagram. Okay so next up I have some happy mail from the Pretty Pink Co. I always love um the packaging that they use. Super pretty and they hand letter your name as well. So this was really really kind. Um, so what happened was I meant to purchase some of her Easter stuff and then I completely forgot. Then I realised that I needed to buy some and they were no longer in the shop because it was a $2 Tuesday. So I, I messaged them on Instagram and asked if she'd be kind enough to do like a custom for me if I said which ones I needed, um, if she'd be able to do like a custom listing for me. And she did, um, which is amazing. Though. So thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I just picked up some things in, I think I did just gold and rose gold again. Yeah, I did. Um, but yeah, thank you so much because it was a lifesaver. <laughs> um, so I picked up two lots of washi strips and some deco. So as I said, these were for the um, $2 Tuesday. So if we first go into, sorry, I've just realized I skipped over the freebie. So this is the journaling card you got, really cute. The pretty pink at the bottom. Then I got the Garden Dividers 2.0 in gold and rose gold. The Garden Windows, how adorable are these? The cutest little things you've ever seen. Um, Easter Bow Dividers. I have so much Easter deco now between Letter to Apollo, Sadie Stickers and Pretty Pinko. <laughs> I'm gonna be set for the next few years at least. Uh, bunny garlands. I love that from all three shops though. It was slightly different. A lot more variety. Um, garden fence. The detail in these is so pretty. Easter circles. Did I get these on? Oh, I got these on transparent mat. I think I meant to get that in premium mat. That's my fault. <laughs> but I can still use them. Use them more decoratively maybe. Um, Easter strings 2.0 Bunny garden divider And then oh this was the freebie Which is a really nice freebie because if you're doing some kind of like floral spread you've already got a whole load of deco You could pull from one one um, freebie. So I really love that So they were the small sheets and then I picked up two lots of the washi strips so I got the garden washi 2.0 so these are one long um these are long strips these don't have the light break that some do and then the garden fence washi maybe I should have got two of these oh well <laughs> again these could be used for any spring spreads not necessarily um for just for Easter so that was everything that I got from the Pretty Pink Co. Definitely go check her out. She's also accommodating and so lovely. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. 
Okay, next up, I'm sure it's no shock at all to anyone. Um, I have a load of orders from Alicia at Sadie Stickers. <laughs> um, I also PR for Alicia, my code is Saskia20. Our freebies have just been updated. This is my old freebie um, and I'm in love with my new freebie so I can't wait to get it and when I get it I will show you um, but if you head over to my Instagram it's on my PR highlight as well um, and also Alicia I think put all ours on one on her Instagram page as well. So I have a few, I have to say a few, I have four um, $2 Tuesdays here. Um, then I also have the February Mystery, which I'm sure you would have seen by now because I'm filming this in end of April, beginning of May. Um, and then here is my Easter kit that I mentioned. So we'll go through the $2 Tuesdays first. Let's go through this one. I'm such an idiot. I've been like speaking to myself and realizing it wasn't even filming um so as i was saying this is my old freebie <laughs> um you can still mention me to get my new freebie which is stunning i'm obsessed with my new freebie if you want to see it properly because i haven't got it yet um go check out shanice planners and tacos she well by the time this goes up it would have been probably a few videos ago um but she recently did a haul um and the cover photo is actually my freebie and she basically just hyped me up for like 10 minutes straight and i mean she needs if you're watching this i love you i love you for that <laughs> and i'm so glad you like my freebie <laughs> um but yeah so if you want to see it go watch her video um because i don't think for this haul i'll have it in hand yet so yeah definitely go check her out i'm gonna hype her back and shout her out too <laughs> um but anyway yeah um you can use saskia 20 to save on anything other than two dollar tuesdays and planners so I feel like I've got deja vu now. I'm going to go back into this. Um, so this was like the spring kind of release and Easter release I picked up. So we've got the fence divider in all three foils. These are all on transparent matte paper. Uh, the fence mini divider. The bee trail deco, which I just think is the cutest thing. You know I love a bumblebee and I mean a bumblebee sticker I'm in. I have so many bee kits at this point and I also have another one to show from a different shop in a bit. <laughs> so get ready for that if you're a bumblebee fan. Um, but here we have the singing bird deco. How adorable are these? And like the foiling and everything's always immaculate from Alicia. Then we have the grass divider. Uh, the Easter grass divider. So this was obviously my Easter order as well. I think she bought them out at the same time. Uh, hanging egg decos, as I said, I loved using these last year, um, so I had to pick up some more, and I like they're slightly different to the Letters to Apollo ones. So I've got a good variety. The Easter mini deco, which just gets so tiny. Like, it's perfect. So you start this kind of small size anyway, and then you get really, really small. Look at the tiny little carrot and the chick and the bunny and the egg oh so cute then easter cluster deco if you know alicia you know she does the cutest cluster deco ever i've always got to pick it up and there's also like single pieces as well um and then last but not least uh, no sorry i picked up something as well <laughs> um i got the tulip stems And then the bunny ear deco again. I loved using these last year. Um, I used them on top of my date covers. So I might do the same again this year. But that was that $2 Tuesday stack. Next up we have, I think this was like the like floral release. Um, yeah, it was. We shared all the different like flowers and types of plants, which is really cute. So first off, I got the lavender divider. I just thought this was really, really sweet. I mean, this is basically a Sadie Stickers and Letters to Apollo haul at this point, isn't it? Because um, <laughs> I've got so much from these shops. I do promise there are three other shops coming as well. Um, but then we have the lavender stems. So I believe the release was lavender, poppy. Lavender, poppy. I want to maybe say daisy. I think there's something else as well. Um, I mainly got the lavender but how cute is this i just have a lot of spring kits that feature lavender so i thought it made sense um you have the branch and berry stems uh, stems and leaves 
sorry I'm probably going quite quickly I just don't want to spend all day <laughs> um, I mean I could stare at these all day but I don't want to take up too much of your time <laughs> um, look how beautiful these are these are the date toppers the lavender ones I just think and they got the little hearts I just think they're so cute uh, tulip date topper so it must be lavender tulip poppy then what's the daisy I could be wrong about that I know last year she did a whole daisy release so I can't remember if she did that this year um, poppy cluster again who doesn't love a good Sadie stickers cluster and then the lavender cluster deco so I mainly got lavender with a bit of tulip and poppy sprinkled in <laughs> um, but that was that two dollar Tuesday um, and then we have the B one I didn't pick up too much of the B because I already have so many B stickers and I'm pretty sure she did another B release earlier in the year um, or it might just be I have so many from last year I was like that's okay you don't need any more which I'm proud of myself for making that choice because we all know B's my weakness um but anyway so first off we have the B mini deco so I just got all of these in gold I think because I found most of the um B kits are in gold because it just makes sense like gold honey um so yeah so first of all I've got the B mini deco again with those varying sizes the B cluster deco a dotted B divider how cute. B mini dangle deco. B dangle garland. I love the variety on this sheet as well. Like they're all different, but they're reversed as well. I love that. Uh, the B double garland. And the B layered garlands so you can see. Like the difference between those. Then I also got the honey drip divider because of course. How cute. Um, and then I picked up the B, the dotted B and the B garland um, washi strips as well. These are all um, one length for now instead of cut in half for the top ones. They're all the same length, which I think makes sense. You can always cut them if you want, um, but most people I think tend to use them that way with the long anyway. Um, so that was, oh no, we've still got another $2 Tuesday to go. Sorry, that's my fault. I forgot about these ones. <laughs> How could I forget about these ones? So sorry, this is the last um, $2 Tuesday stack. <laughs> um, God, I need just a whole like room to keep all my Sadie sticker stuff, I swear. Um, <laughs> so again, this is my old freebie. And then this was, oh, this was like the I call it like the weather one but it was like the sunburst and raindrops and stuff I think um which I thought was really cute so I got the mini sunburst one in silver and gold again all on transparent mat uh the umbrella cluster deco oh look how cute who knew umbrellas and rain could be so cute I don't really like the rain but I love these. <laughs> um, I got some cloud clusters just because I thought they can be generic for kind of anything. Even if you're doing a more kind of like, um, what's the word, like celestial spread, they'd be cute. And we have the sunburst cluster. How adorable. Umbrella mini deco because I just couldn't not look how cute these tiny little umbrellas are. Look, they get even smaller. Oh. Cloud mini deco again for kind of generic use as well as like with weather spreads. Um, sunburst mini deco or mini deco three. I think there are a few different types of sunburst you could get. Let me just move these a second. Uh, then we have the dotted sunburst divider. The raindrop mini dangle deco and I like these raindrops because I mean they're obviously raindrops but you could use them as kind of like a little like jewel or teardrop kind of thing um you wouldn't have to use them just for a raindrop <laughs> um the sunburst mini dangle 
the raindrop garland dangle. Again, you could use that pretty generically. Uh, the sunbar sunburst garland dangle. Uh, then I got the sunburst double garland and the sunburst layered garland. Then for the washi um, strips, I got the dotted sunburst garland. These do have um, shorter ones at the top here. And then the sunburst garland, and this also has the shorter ones at the top. So now that was, I promise, the end of the $2 Tuesdays from Sadie Stickers. Um, I mean, I really need to just control myself better. Look at this. Look at all of that and the thickness of them. What can I say? I'm a $2 Tuesday addict. Don't tell Adam. <laughs> no, he's very supportive about all this. He, if anything, he encourages me to spend the money and then... I'm the one that regrets it instead of him, aren't I? <laughs> um, but yeah, look at that thick stack of stuff. She just does some of the best deco around, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, let's go on to their kit. So I got Cottontail, which is just the one of the most beautiful Easter kits I think I've ever seen. Like the blues with the silver are just, I love it. So I think I also got, yes, I also got the journaling kit on transparent matte paper. So if you've watched some of my other hauls, you would have seen this kind of format before. Um, but she always has like a postage stamp, um, and some torn paper strips, some kind of like deco, and then like deco boxes, and then some actual deco. Just depends how much, depending on the clip art and kind of like the collection. So that will be going in my uh, Hobie Nichi Cousin. Then we have the weekly kit. So I got the add on of the floral and the boxes page. So here is the floral. I might need to pick up, I think I'll be all right with just one floral page. I might have to pick up another. Um, here are the boxes. So you have some more whited out ones and then some kind of like watercolor with the florals. I like that because then you'd have to add your own florals. So this is the weekly kit. So as I said, it's foiled in silver. I don't know about you, looking through my um, screen, it does look a bit gold on camera, but it is silver. Um, and I love the middle box. It says Bake Daily Cottontail Baking Company, chocolate bunnies, peeps, and cream eggs. So cute. Peeps are those little marshmallow bunnies, aren't they? We don't have them over here, but I have heard of them. Just so cute. So you get your full boxes and your boxes down the bottom. Then you get some scallop boxes and some norm boxes. Some are like this one's notched. If you can see the cut lines, um, and this one's got like the scallop at the bottom chick always has some like cute foil elements on there and then you get your smaller kind of like midi and square boxes down the bottom again these are notched boxes then you have your sidebar stackables your checklist some layering things more boxes um, and your three sets of headers I love how neutral she always makes two of them because then you could always use like these two or these two and then save the other for another kit and then we have your bottom washi and date covers and these were released um on a two dollar tuesday recently i don't know if they've become permanent in the shop but it's a really nice pattern i love this kind of like white like wash on the wood really pretty so then you have your date covers which are just rectangular boxes um your some extra boxes then some like extra kind of headers and scalloped headers as well so that was cottontail which one of my favourite kits I think she's done recently. I just absolutely love it. Uh, then we have the February 2022 mystery. As I said, you should have already seen this by now because this is going up later, like a few months later. If you haven't, skip ahead now. Um, but this is the kit. So I love the kind of like tea party theme it's so cute and recently she did a fruit inspired two dollar tuesday so there were some things with berries on for that to match this um, which i think was a really good idea but look how cute 
these full boxes are so this is in a silver foil the box up here says how beautiful change can be so that could be your kind of like quote box or that could be as well um i love this it's kind of like giving me bridgerton vibes as well <laughs> they're like classy elegant tea party so again this is the same format so i'll just go through it quickly there's those um like lines with dots again So that was the kit and then also because it's a mystery um she includes a whole like kit sized um page with boxes and deco and then also florals on premium matte these aren't they aren't on transparent matte and that's not an option at the moment sometimes she will list these as extras in the shop as well if she has any um but yeah so here's kind of like your journaling page and your boxes kind of combined because you've got some of those like torn paper strips, some deco, some cool boxes. How cute are these? They're like little sticky note boxes. So cute. And then you get one big page of florals, which will be absolutely plenty for me. I know for some people they might want to pick up another one of these because I guess it's equivalent to, oh, I don't know where I put it. Put it back in the thing. I guess it's equivalent to two of the smaller ones put together. Um, about, I guess, yeah. I'd say it's about that. Um, but yeah, when they, if she does put any extras in the shop, you can do these. I know she put the January and February ones up a while ago, so I don't know if they'll still be in the shop, but yeah, so that's your floral page and your like boxes slash journaling page and then your weekly care. And I mean, I think that's such an amazing deal for a subscription i think that's incredible um so these are one off she doesn't bring overstocks to the shop um, because i think she just prints however many are um subscribed so the only things that will come to the shop if there are any more will be the florals i think um but yeah definitely go subscribe her mysteries are amazing such a good deal and yeah, that was the February mystery. Okay, so that was everything from Sadie Stickers. Don't forget to check her out and use my code Saskia20. Also mention me to get my new freebie, which I'm obsessed with. And as I said, as soon as I get it, I will show you. But until then, go check out Planners and Tacos, um, her haul, and also our Instagrams, because they'll be on there as well. Okay, we're nearly there. Um, I have three more shops to show you. So first off, we'll go with Nicole Alexia Designs. Again, this is a bee kit. Are we surprised? Nope, probably not. Um, so I used to order from her all the time. I remember she was one of the first ever shops I shopped with. Um, and then I just kind of, I think I just kind of took a break for a while. Um, her format just kind of didn't work with what I now kind of plan. Um, but she brought this kit and she's recently updated her format and I just couldn't resist. So first off we get this thank you card, really nice quality um really really cute then we get a freebie in gold foil on this kind of like pink background then this is the kit so i got some add-ons as well i'll show you those in a minute but this is the like base kit so this is honey i believe she does like the first like the friday they come out she give you can buy them for like 12 dollars for the whole kit um could be wrong go check out her instagram but pretty sure she does she also has a facebook group um but yeah so this is the full box page so pretty be the change you wish to see <laughs> so cute um and then here is your boxes page so you get some scallops some kind of like notched fancy boxes and then some kind of normal boxes i like the sunflowers as well on this then you get three sets of headers, some more fancy boxes, I wish there were more of these, um, some checklists, some sidebar, a sidebar box, some layering things and some more like label boxes. I seem to have a bit of a black mark on that, but it'll be okay. Um, and then you have your bottom washi, really pretty, your date covers. Um, some habit trackers and then a like weekly tracker box there um, then I picked up two add-ons so this was like the florals page I must say I feel like 
the space could have been used better like I get as a kit size page but I feel like if you there's so much space if you'd squished kind of everything up more you could have fit, probably fitted at least like five or six more things on there that's the one thing I must say I'm a bit disappointed with um and the borders are quite big around these like that's quite a big border the same with these florals actually like that is quite a big border around it um so I might have to trim those down a bit that is a little bit disappointing um but anyway I do love them I might have to use them more in my journal spread which is a bit annoying because I might find some more florals but yeah and then this was the extra like boxes page I'm sure I got I think I have some like sunflowers florals from letter to Apollo I could use as well I do like this page though but again it's quite like thickly cut like around it like if you look at that like that's quite maybe I'm being really picky but to me that's still quite like a thick border I guess on white paper you wouldn't see it as much but like these are cut a lot closer but these ones have got such a thick white border on them which is a little bit annoying but but yeah but yeah so I really liked this kit just because of the honey um, I'm going to have to play around with it a bit just because of kind of like the format and as I said the um like the thick white borders around some of the stickers aren't I'm not really too um that's what I'm looking for I prefer them thinner um but yeah we'll play around with it and see but so that was honey from Nicole Alexia designs then I have an order from Miss and Meow which let's just talk about her packaging it's been updated I love it she always has the cutest packaging um, so let me just take this out so you don't see my invoice. So I believe, I think she's had a few more releases since this. she's been absolutely killing it. Um, but we'll go into the Wild kit first. So I picked up two kits, I got Wild and Precious. Um, wild I got in gold foil you could get it in gold or rose gold I got it in gold um, and precious I got in gold as well so let's get into wild first I also got a freebie um so this is the freebie I got really cute I always was say I always say these remind me of like theatre curtains I think they're so sweet um then I got the deco page really nice um, and then the weekly kit so her format is just perfect uh, I love everything she includes I love her style her foiling like everything she's just been killing the game recently I think she's been in pretty much every one of my hauls recently um, but this is the wild kit and I just think it is stunning if you've watched any of my happy planner hauls you know I kind of love this subtle natural earthy kind of tones um mix of wild animals i just think it's perfect um so here are your full boxes and the quote box says she has a wild spirit but a soft heart and such a sweet soul so cute also almost gives me like nursery vibes i don't know why i think it's like the pale pink and the leaves the hammock like a protective kind of leopard i just think so cute um and then you get some like script scallop headers down here then we get icons and as I said last time I love the detail like that's the sticker kit the phone so cute three sets of headers some more boxes some more of these like scallop scripts um, and then the date covers and some like watercolor swatches uh, we get the boxes that she's like famous for some watercolor swatches which you can buy separately in the shop some fancy boxes some normal boxes And then these like lace stickers, which I think are really cute. I've used these a few times. I really love those. And uh, then you have your bottom washing. 
with some layering things, some like long flags. I don't know if you can see the cut lines there. Then a weekly box. This is a really cute box for your sidebar and some hammer trackers. So that was the weekly kit of Wild. I also picked up the journaling kit but I got it in both premium matte and transparent matte because I wanted to play around with using the premium matte in my weekly spread um, because I usually use this page for a weekly spread in my Hobby G Cousin, like my journal. Um, but I wanted to see how I could pull this into the weekly kit. So I'm excited to do that. So you get your like bullet points and teardrops top, some scripts, some floral, some deco, some torn paper strips, just everything. So that's the premium matte journal kit. And then this is the um, transparent matte version. So really pretty. So that collection was uh, wild. It was wild and it also is called wild. <laughs> okay, then I have the precious kit and kind of like collection. Um, again, this is the same format, so I'll just go through it quickly. But here we have your florals. I love all the daisies and daisies are easy to kind of pull in from other shops as well. Um, this is the weekly kit again in gold foil. It's got like a picnic element there as a bee in there so you can incorporate the bee stickers as well. Um, I will find as many reasons to incorporate bee stickers as I can <laughs> in my spring and summer spreads. But the quote book says, tell me what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life by Mary Oliver. So pretty. I love this box as well, I love her dress, I think it's gorgeous air balloon with the daisies in the honey oh i just love it as i said it's the same format so i'll just kind of quickly show you sorry if you can hear stuff in the background adam seems to be boiling the kettle <laughs> i just love these kind of calm tones and then your bottom washi oh look there's a fence so i could pull in those fence stickers <laughs> all comes together doesn't it is when I look through all these properly I realize how much like everything can come together that I've got in one haul <laughs> I subconsciously been doing that um, and then this is the journaling kit but I just got it in transparent matte I just love this torn paper bit here it's so pretty and I can't wait to play around with this it's the same format it usually is the same format per journal kit So that was everything I got from Miss and Meow. Definitely go check out her um, Instagram and her website. Regina is amazing. She's based in Canada. Um, shipping's not too expensive to the UK from Canada, um, but otherwise you could use a US forwarding service. Yeah, definitely go check her out. Okay, last but not least, I picked up some things from Lauren Phelps Designs. I think I've only bought from her once before. I want to say. Um, we do have a stockist in the UK called Pippi Plans, but they don't always have, I find they sell out of stock really quickly and they don't always have the collections as quick as I would like them, I find personally. Um, but that's also a great option if they have what you need because it ships in the UK, so shipping's cheaper um, and it gets you quicker. But yeah, so I fell in love with this kind of like collection. So I grabbed a few things. So I grabbed three lots of washi, um, some sticky notes, and then this was the freebie which came, which kind of shows you the collections that are going to be releasing, which is nice. And this is on like a vinyl transparent matte paper. Um, so these are the sticky notes. I won't get them out, but this is the design. Oh, sorry, I think there are the sticky notes or they're a notepad. I'm not quite sure. Um, and then these are the washi, washi tapes I got. So there's this one, which is like a, do uh, a grid with some florals on them. A bigger one with florals. Looks like this. It's called the Flutter Collection, um, but bigger florals with that like mauve coloured background. There's like dragonflies and stuff. And then a um, like a stamp washi as well. So yeah, they were just the few things that I picked up from Lauren Felt Design. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today. I hope you've enjoyed this haul. I love just looking through this stuff. It makes me really get in the mood for my spring summer spreads. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Comment down below if you want to have a chat or follow me over on Instagram, we can have a chat there. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more. 
Okay, I hope you're having a great day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.